that quest was 100% the best quest in Genshin Impact. You're so cute. Why do we have to kill you? Fuck off! I'm talking to your friend who's gonna die in a second. End of the line. I don't like... I don't like that. That worries me a little bit. Yeet us, delete us, let's do this. The chasm's bed underneath the nail, aka the nail bed. I'm gonna keep saying it because I think it's true. Hello, Pine. She wakes. She's awake. Wait, where are we? Dead. Hey, Paimon, we're still on the ground. Paimon, are you feeling better? Yep, way better. Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. True. I mean, none of us have, let's be honest. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tibet could end up so out of their depth? <laughs> okay, that was a funny haha. <laughs> I do just want to say as well, I am still... This quest already, and it might get explained in this, I'm not sure. I was never sus of Paimon until now. With the whole door thing, I want to see theories about this shit. She has made me incredibly fucking sus. Fatigue and fear are normal. I'll always be with you, Paimon. What was Paimon just had the weirdest dream. What was there were that? Cattle mooing constantly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, Ushi. just like that. Well, that's probably why you had the dream, Paimon. That's probably why you had the dream, because Ushi's been out all night. Uh, Ushi, were you looking after Paimon? Yep. Ushi's adorable. Mm. Yeah, he was. Oh, Yanfei, too. Hello, are you going to follow me around again? Well, this is... W oh, Zhao! Wait, his wounds have healed! <sighs> huh? Traveler, it looks like the Conqueror of Demons is awake. Sus! Hello, Zhao? How do you feel? I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm more concerned, I think. <laughs> Fucking ah. she did. I can't. What is happening? Karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. It keeps going really well, slow. I have Adepti blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. Even so. Uh-huh. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? With a little help, I was able to find my way here. All thanks to Yan Fei. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before he joined us? No need to be so formal. Just call me Xiao. Oh, sure. Okay, Xiao. <sighs> It was a senseless battle. I came here looking for someone. But when I found them... Oh. They weren't anything like how I expected. Actual lore? Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? <sighs> a Yaksha. I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. Ooh, wait, is this the first time we've heard- well, never mind, I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. Maybe we read it in the book during Zhao's quest, I don't remember the name though. Bosatius. Bosatius? Ooh. Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? I thought that you were the only one left. Aren't the other four... No. Gone from the world? There was, there was always one missing that. one. But Bosatius's body is the only one that was never found. Give me the Yaksha law. Yaksha's deal with God's remains all the time. And we become tainted by karma. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went. And I never heard from him again. Oh man. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. He once told us, as Yakshas, we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other and know each other's fate to the very end. Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? It's possible, but I did not. I am the sole survivor. Wow. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Probably. I think we Did also... Did you know that 500 years ago... Did. The beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? Yes, I've heard a thing or two. We did know that. That war lasted a long time. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. Yep. But no one knew the Yaksha's name. Bosatius? 
And he got trapped down here, locked down here. There were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Wow. But you must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain, and I didn't have any other clues except for this one. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. So at first, oh. I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. Oh, that's good knowledge. Okay. You found Bersatius? No. I, I can't... Wait. <clears throat> wait. So it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Oh, fuck. Did he injure you? Yes. Oh. No way! The invasion of monsters from Conria, the battle in the chasm, and Yelon's ancestor... I have a feeling that somehow these are all connected. I agree. Life is full of coincidences, but this is too much of a coincidence. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will too? What will? Uh, oh, right. I uh, came here because of a will. <laughs> oh no. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before, but both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Yes. Whoa, whoa. You want to write a will now? Wait. Wait. <sighs> it was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Uh-huh. Your deception is easy to spot. But the truth laced with lies can be a fatal combination. What you heard were really things that I said. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Oh my god. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. How is this even possible? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Everyone... Whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. Jesus. What? How do you know? What happens if you get devoured? <laughs> I think we can tell. You might become a shadow of your former self. Wandering the underground like a lost soul. I mean, we've already seen that, right? <laughs> Sounds like you saw them, too. Yaelon, Just... you're back. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. I've seen some strange things here, too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, yeah. then vanishing. I think a lot of people saw that. I don't that. think any of it is real. So they're just illusions? Yep. At first, I had the same thought. Wait, but no? it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. Ghosts! Oh no, don't tell Ito. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. A guess is As better Yen than Fei nothing. Said, this space is chaotic and unstable, but it has its weaknesses. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. What do you mean, all the energy you have? Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself. I had wondered if that was a possibility. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? It's happening again, but this time it's Yanfei and not Paimon. Oh, no, I can't, dude. I can't. I can't just make me an NPC or something. I mean, it will take everything I've got. <sighs> just make me an NPC, Wait dude. Wait a minute. When you said you were going to get us out safely, you mean you're going to stay here? Uh-huh. You can't be serious. <sighs> I saw Bosatius underground. That's when I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. Shit. I know how to fight to the bitter end. 
Yeah. I can do this. Don't say to the bitter... Dude, they're giving him death flags left, right, and center. If this takes all the energy you have, you'll... No. No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I'm on neither. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. We should leave together. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. You've got a good but, point. But can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth it! To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. Yeah, but... What if I told you? Oh. This is my last will. Oh, God! You? That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yaksha's pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? Jesus. The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles, so I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. Oh damn, she gets him. She gets, gets him. You say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them. But if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Damn. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. Holy fuck! Okay, Yellow. <laughs> Damn, this is the first time I've ever heard somebody talk this, like, uh, dumb to Zhao, of all people. Fucking hell. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Yelon, don't be so harsh. Pop off. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. Uh, I mean, it's how long have we been here, though, is the question. Like, how long have we actually been looking? It on cookie! And Uchi, of course. What if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? Actually, that... that mm, they're both As very fair stand, points. There's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Is Yelan seriously getting annoyed? The atmosphere is so tense, what should I do? Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, <laughs> that's right, I heard ya. Look, we tried this no already. No staying behind to let anyone else Ito. out, alright? Enough talk, it's time Ito. for action! Ito, we tried this already. You tried punching the other wall, it didn't work. You can't punch another one, although Come the other- Come on, whatever you are! Okay. Let's okay. see how long you managed to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you! Wait, oh my god. For those of you that don't know, by the way, because there's going to be a f quite a lot of you that don't, we read a randomly generated quotes thing the other day on the subreddit, and it said, Ito punches a wall, and he gets really hurt after. And I was like, I would love for him to do that in the game. If he does this now, based on a randomly generated fucking quote website from, like, a week ago, I am going to be in shock. Uh, easy now. Please don't actually punch it. Have a taste of this! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, you actually- What? It worked? Uh, uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> but check it out, new path. Okay, <laughs> did. If you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Oh. Shit. That used a lot of energy. Should have seen this coming. Oh god. Hey, it worked though. Holy shit. I didn't expect that to work. Uh, why do you always have to do things like this? Cookie, it worked. What happened to Ito? 
Did he pass out? <laughs> the boss used up all his strength in one punch. One punch, bud. That's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. <sighs> Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. Okay. What, the ball he or Ito? He did this because he heard us arguing, right? Probably. <sighs> the thing with boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki gang, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. <laughs> oh, I like that about <sighs> Today, him, though. he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another thing with bosses, <laughs> he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself. Because oh. he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Giant eagle alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Shell suggested? <sighs> so stupid. Why don't you try to stop him? The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Ugh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. Oh, God. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. I mean, Besides, fair. Often Makes his sense. Hairbrained intuition is surprisingly on point. Yep. We might punch our way out of here yet. I, I, she's uh, not wrong. Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. These two are gonna have the best little friendship. I swear to God, dude. Like they started off despising each other. Now they're just cute. It's so adorable. They actually care. I'm sorry. <sighs> Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. Mm. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up. True. And he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. That's such a weird-looking passage. Important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. God damn, dude. Aww. Shinobu. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. I mean, I'm down. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. Is he going to be out of fucking commission, though, Shinobu? Make it better. <sighs> Quick. <sighs> Everyone, it Whoa. seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. No. So Ito's efforts were in vain? I'll go and take a look first. Okay. Ah, I see. I'm with you. Well, that's not first, that uh, is it. What? What? Yeah, what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? True. If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. She keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. True. I will find a way. Well, uh, uh, well it's a bit too late to say wait now, Traveler. Let him go. <laughs> but if you're planning on going into that domain too, then come with me. Okay. I'm down. After all, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll be safer if we team up. Yep. Uh, okay, don't say you're just a lawyer, By the though. Way, um, you are very powerful. You and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelan got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. I have to say, though, if Yelan hadn't spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. Also, self sacrifice is something Yelan feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. That's interesting when she said previously that she has, like, ties to the Abyss and stuff as well. I really want to know more about Yelan. I guess we will in a story quest, From right? From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before, and then Oof. was rescued herself. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. Maybe. But how can things ever be the same again, knowing that your life was saved when others weren't? 
In a way, salvation can also be a burden. Yeah. If I were her, I'm not sure I would have done anything different. Nothing? I mean, yeah, to be oh, fair. Wait, one second. I'll be right there. God damn. Yeah. Oh, don't burn him. What is the healer Jan? F Hello. <sighs> right. That's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now, I've cast a spell to protect you guys. Whoa. That's fucking weird. Is that... That's fucking weird. Is that her C4 shield? That don't look like a C4 shield. Have we ever seen a character do like an ability in the game that, that we can't see them do in gameplay ourselves? Ningwai, actually fair. Well, Tartalia's whale. Okay, yeah, you got points, chat. You got points. Okay, never mind, never mind. Thank you, Senpai. <laughs> Please, be careful. Oh, Senpai Yanfei. All right, Traveler, let's go. Damn. Do y'all think we'll ever get more abilities? Because that would be so interesting. Well, it's not a healing rift because I'm still weak as fuck. I'm talking to y'all, though. Don't worry. Ushi and I know how to take care of the boss. Moo. I think I can speak for both of us in saying it's not our first rodeo. Move for me, Ushi. Go on. Get out of here. And be careful. I love him. I love Ushi. Enter the new domain. What the fuck is this, dude? Okay. Wait, so I just walk? God, this looks so creepy. This... <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so good. Realm of snaring illusions. Oh, what a weird and wonderful scene. Space time has become totally chaotic. Look at that huge disc in the distance. Holy shit. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? God, it looks so good. It's even bigger than a cooking pot. It's com It's even bigger than all our heads combined. What? That's the best description you can come up with? It's way, way bigger than that. We gotta trust her since she's seen her fair share of cooking pots. Huh. Well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. How the heck am I going to lug that back to my office? Yeah, that's <clears throat> going to be a struggle. <clears throat> you, maybe Shenha? Let's investigate the area first. Maybe, maybe Shenha can ca What the? Are they? What? Are they treasure hoarders? Did I miss something? Are these huge treasure hoarders or is this a smaller compass? <laughs> what are treasure hoarders doing here? They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Interesting. Okay. Well, only Yan Fei. I mean, is this a... Hold up. Is this a trial, Yan Fei? You give me 21k health with 1.7k attack. <laughs> Hey, Hoyavus, you really got to learn how to build your own characters for these little trial things. I'm, I'm not being funny. I thought we yeah. learned from this. I, I thought we learned uh, from this. I really did, but apparently uh, not. There's a smaller disc here. Judging from the appearance and design. Hmm. In all Bro, wait. Head, what constellation does she have? Three? <laughs> this is the Fantastic Compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? What's it for? Oh god. Is that a double attack that happens after? I, I don't I never really noticed that too much with C6 for some reason. Interesting. Interesting. <sighs> Easy peasy. Just like last time. <laughs> you know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me just to get back at me. Being a legal advisor sounds tough. Eh, happens all the time. Luckily I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is this space recreating scenes from my memory? Huh. Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. Shit. Oh, f wait. So, okay, let me have a look at this. Find more clues. Investigate. Note of unknown origin. Okay, let's have a look at this. So that is matching this oh and then a new entrance great oh shit whoa whoa, whoa. is this a tunnel uh, this is weird it feels 
feels like it's connecting to another world. Or maybe another time. I thought we might run into some other people here. Huh. Apparently not. Yanfei, what's that sound? The Fatui? Whose memory is this? Uh, watch out! Huh? <laughs> Just as I thought. Oh, what? Yelan's memory? Okay. Yelan, you're here. I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Oh, hey, shit. We're together now. Maybe this is just the memory of Ye Oh, what? Okay. Right. Quietly now. <laughs> Bye, motherfucker. Get yeeted. Quietly. I mustn't give up. Another one? Can I? I will recall. Holy fuck, that voice. Amateurs. And still they dare to come after me. Huh? <laughs> You've still got it. That voice just now, did they not hear it? Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Holy shit. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Or fantastic beasts and where to find them? Yenfei. See that thing on the ground? Uh-huh. Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. It does look very fucking familiar. Because it's there! <laughs> Rotate the needles of the Fantastic Compass to different points to change the time in this area and jump to different times. Okay, well, that's interesting. In that case, let me go back. Well, let me get this note. Another note of unknown origin. This is very interesting. Yeah, okay, let me go back. Just make sure I didn't miss anything through here. If I can check. Jesus. God, it's so weird, dude. This is such a strange mechanic, but I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I do see things here. Solidify. That didn't do a damn thing. This might be one of the coolest fucking domains I think I've seen. We could use this. Ah, maybe. Th so there's going to be something behind that in a different one. Dude, this puzzle's so cool. Ah, ah, ah. Zhongli. 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 Stop. Thanks. Okay. What is this tree thing? What the fuck? Oh, a chest. Pog. Okay, this tree is very weird. Can I cut? No shots, dude. Okay, dude. What the fuck? Just move the fucking needle and move forward again, hopefully. C can you move forward again now? You can. I'm so done. <laughs> Whoa, you just skip out on my boy over here? Okay. That looks like hell. Holy shit, that puzzle was fun, dude. It was very easy, but also very confusing. <laughs> Holy shit. Another new space. Yes, indeed. If everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Probably through the door. Rosacious. I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Xiao. No enemies. Hold on. Xiao's the enemy? Is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no. We should go help him. Stay back. Fuck. This is my fight. Do not come near me. What? Filthy monsters. So many people have died at your hands. I oh. lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. The Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me. Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Interesting. Can I, can I not kill you? Not going well for Xiao. No matter. I know how this ends. <sighs> oh, he's getting tired. <sighs> Woohoo! You ain't hitting me, motherfucker. You ain't hitting me. Look, Osatius is showing signs of fatigue. Slowing down. Osatius, huh? Marshal Retress. 
Even your strength is finite. Marshal Vritris. Your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Leave! I'll deal Rex with the Lapis? rest. Rex Lapis? We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, remember, we must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Holy fuck. Wait, what? <sighs> Whoa! Yeah. Zhao turned into Diluc. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, are you good? Enough. Phantom, be gone! Oh shit, he's gone Super Saiyan. Zhao, are you okay? What? You haven't even recovered from your injuries yet. This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. Oh, so excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. Oh my! He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. I think but we gathered. Didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Probably. Osatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? I mean, wow. Then he can't have been truly mad, right? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. Holy shit. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. Oh, what? He couldn't possibly have survived. He fought the monsters. Osatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. And trapped what them. What kind of place could this be? Oh, God, Defeating Kanoya's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Guys, it could just be me, Oh, but... no. I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. But this is the final day of the Arco Quest. We can't time gate it anymore. Yanfei, wake up! This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Bosatius stayed here underground. But now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. Oh, God. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. <sighs> Let's go. Time to move on. You fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. That better not be all we see of him. No shot that's all we see of him, right? Do not want to miss anything here. I don't think I am, though. I could be wrong, but screw it. We're, we're trying to get this... Fuck. All the way back in that case. God damn. This is what Zhao's quest should have been, but it also makes it make a lot more sense and hit harder now. You know what, Zhao? I have a newfound respect for my boy Zhao. Holy shit. This is wild. This is a lot of lore. And I, you know me, I, I love the lore more than anything else in the quests. It's very sad. I want to fight the Yaksha. Stop! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, here we go. Looks like there's some information here. Shall we take a look? Sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, another letter. Letter four. Ah, shit, dude. God damn. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. So, who's this Boyong they mentioned? Ah. <sighs> Boy Young was one of my ancestors. Mm? The one who didn't make it back. You mean Boy Young fought alongside Bosatius? I believe so. Oh, fuck. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. Uh, so scary. Oh. What? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, 
we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. Wow, dude, what? Holy fucking shit, dude. The new space? Wait, which one's the new fucking space? This one? <laughs> I'm confused now, hold on. There's, there's still a few more to do. I think this one's the red one, right? Wait, this is not the red one. I think this is the new one then. <gasps> is that the abyss? Oh, no, dude. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this. Ah, can I see Tepe again at least before we depart this world? <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's nothing here at all. What a creepy space. Oh. It has the feel of the abyss. Yeah, it does. But where are the opponents? Hmm. Maybe we are the enemies all along. Dot, dot, dot. I think this is my memory. Wait. Oh, shit. Ether? Your memory? Of what? Of emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. The abyss? So, this place is created purely based on your memory? I'm afraid so, because I will always remember that the abyss took my twin away. The abyss, it's always bad news. I am not controlling this. The purpose of my journey is to find you. I will keep it's going- It's getting darker. What? I have to get everyone out of here. I'll find a way to survive this, then find the lost treasure. It's not her. It's not. It's not. It's not. Do what not mean, follow. Wait! Zach! Dude, give him more! More! Give him more! This is not Lumine, though. That's why it says her in quotes. Holy shit. Huh? Huh? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? It looks like the Fantastic Compass. The Fantastic Compass? Yeah. In the other spaces, the Fantastic Compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh. oh, she was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? Oh, man. I can sense that she's not here. But at least we found this. Hmm. Yenfei. Are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? Oh, From no. the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... Uh... <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Yo, Yelan's a catalyst user now? Hello? Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Whoa! Here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. Pog. Bro, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, hold on. This is one of the coolest domains I have ever seen. Holy shit. Okay, let's talk to the Zhao. is the leader of the five Yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. He could control electro energy. Unlike me, he was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. Wow. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Zhao. You have been through a lot more than I think we even realized. Now that I found the fantastic compass, my work here is done. But if the Bosatius we saw was just an illusion, will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? I mean, likely not, right? I don't know. Oh god, that actually made me super sad. Within yin and yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. What in the fuck did you just say, Yelan? That is very interesting. She's missing two archons. I don't think that's in regards to Archons. I think that's... I mean, she's looking at a compass, right? Would it be directions? Oh, my head with this Archon quest. Holy... Oh. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. Oh. 
Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. Ha! Huh. Oh, no wool. Okay. Goddamn, dude. This information was left by a thaumaturge called... <sighs> who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. All this information... It was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the fantastic compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. Mm -hmm. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside oh. Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. <sighs> Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyong ended up staying here for good, too. <clears throat> God. <sighs> well, this is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? I don't think anybody does. Bye, bud. Oh, God. Oh, Paimon, what have you done? What was that? Huh? What? What? Oh, God. Discord light mode. You do? I just had a thought. Give me a second. I just need to double check. Uh huh. Y oh, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Damn, the VAs are doing a great job in this. Okay. What is Traveler, wh I just realized something. What is the plan? Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time, but I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. Uh -huh. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. Uh -huh. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. Huh? I have both adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It worked. I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, we must be on the right track. Huh. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top together. Let's get the fuck out of me, dude. Oh my god. Jesus. A, a little bit of warning next time. Compass, please. <sighs> I see. It makes sense now. Uh -huh. Hold on. That huge crystal I saw at the bottom of the chasm. The nail? I remember the crystal hit the ruined serpent. There seemed to be an opposing force. Was it that opposing force that delayed the awakening of the space that has not now swallowed us? Or okay, I've got to stop that. Also, we haven't seen any abyss monsters in here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Paimon can barely move anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Oh... Paimon, you can stay with me until you die, inevitably. I'm sure it's going to happen at some point, but not right now, Paimon. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Okay, Xiao. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, I love Paimon, dude. Come on, come on, just come with me. It's fine. Don't disappear. Come back. There you are. <laughs> oh, God. Go back and meet with the ones left behind. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. It's too good. Oh, they better keep this place open forever, dude. <laughs> hey, Kiki. Oh, Ito's awake. Shinobu, Ito, we're back. How's Ito doing? He must be exhausted because he still hasn't. Oh, he's not up awake. Yet. Fuck. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? Yes. It's written on your faces. Yep. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what kind of news it is, but it's Bye. news. <sighs> we found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. <sighs> Shoot! I thought you were going to say shit then. I really, really did this for a second. This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. True. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, <gasps> one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Oh my god, are we all gonna try put our power together? Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the Fantastic Compass be fully activated. I'm a mix of human and adeptus, so the fact that the Fantastic Compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full adeptus and a human yep. with training in the magic arts. Oh my god, what Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. Shout and yell, I need to cooperate? So an adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? Yes, if my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate it. Oh, God. Maybe even reverse it. Last time, it was used to seal the intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it, then we're home free. Maybe. Awesome. So there's still hope? Slim hope, but hope. You bet. <sighs> your idea seems reasonable. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, let's all take a quick break. Oh, God. I'll give this thing a try once we're ready. Oh, no, it's oh happening. Oh, boy. Paimon's so nervous. Don't be afraid. This is going to work. Oh, fuck, dude. I am nervous. I'm nervous for my in-game character. Oh, God, I'm actually nervous. Go. Paimon, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. Oh, God. I'm ready. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, but Yenfei, there's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the Fantastic <gasps> Compass out of here. From what I can tell, everything within this domain is the result of disordered space-time and memories. Shit. We all came here for different purposes, and everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. Shit. This space... Well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know, but the whole time, it's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? I remember a giant snake just outside this space, and Paimon, I haven't forgot that you never let us see your biggest fear thing in that room. I'm never going to forget that. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I was there too. Huh? Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, it was. It uh... was you that shot that arrow? Yeah, I saw it with my Who own else two did eyes. I think it was. When the crystal attacked the giant snake, does that have anything to do with why the ground split open? Okay, the crystal didn't attack this snake, did it? Was it really attacking this? Uh, maybe. I don't know, dude. That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization, and crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was. Some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? Oh, God. If so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. 
It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. No, no! You're just trying to help us and solve the problem! You're definitely not to blame for what happened. <laughs> if you say so. You're not. I, I really don't think she's to blame. I, I, I don't think so. You liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. Additionally, most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the fantastic compass will likely disappear. Oh no! I mean, it's not the worst thing, at least it's we can get out of here. I think too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the fantastic compass to begin with. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. Jesus, this shout. Is a long that shot. was edgy. <laughs> Maybe our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was all of us. Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment to your search. True. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. But if they were here, I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. Yeah. I gotta say, it does intrigue me, the way we all ended up here together. <sighs> God damn it. If this is fate, then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Let's do it! Okay, do it. Whatever that means. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. We're ready. Okay. Traveler, take care of Paimon. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time comes. Sure. Interesting. All right. <sighs> the, these sighs are making me concerned, even though I don't think I should be at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Stars align. Bestow your light, evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, new must surge. By dictum divine, heed these words. Ooh. Do as I command. <laughs> Holy shit. Aha! Uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. What? Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. Okay. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. Oh, wow. General Alatus, falling in! Wait, what? Oh my god. Huh? Dementus! Watch out! <laughs> Let's go, dude! No, 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 no! This trip may be dangerous. Huh? you insist on going? What? I have guarded this place for several hundred years. What are you doing? Only to seek the nameless Yaksha. Do I request your approval? Mm. Oh my god! Wait, what? <laughs> There's so many. Whoa, what was that? What did that say? No, 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 no. Wait, is the traveler gonna help? Oh, no. Uh, 
Oh god. You can't keep this up. Your strength won't last. Oh god. Huh? Wait, no. Wait, what? What was what? Would you strong Lee? Huh? <gasps> Holy shit, dude. What? Huh? Oh my god. What just happened? Finally out of the danger zone, everyone rests and starts chatting. Was close. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. That was terrifying. <sighs> I gotta I take know this what in. You were thinking, but... Yeah, but, dude, Yelan looked genuinely concerned then. Like, w more concerned than I think anybody in the story that I have seen look concerned for another character so far. That was interesting to see. I feel like she developed a bond with Xiao throughout this. Holy shit, that cutscene is so good! Wow! Wait, I gotta, I gotta talk more about this after we deal with this. What? I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. God. I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, <sighs> thank you for saving us all. Goddamn. No. I could not have done this on my strength alone. So thanks to you too, Yelan. Oh, and Zhongli, dude. Don't mention what? it. And, and everyone... But... It looks like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Rest what? up. There's no hurry to move on from here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. I just want to say as well, this is the pure reason why, chat, I always say, if there's going to be a playable character to die in this story, I think Zhongli is going to be the first to die, because clearly he's not going to let anybody else die. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. Oh. <sighs> Maybe Yelan really doesn't believe she made a contribution. It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. Wow. And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything, maybe Yelan's just given up trying to talk to him. Xiao, she's criticizing me. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> oh, you speak God. Only the truth. <laughs> I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. Seems like you got through to him. Wow, he's actually... Ch is he changing, dude? Hold on, is is Zhao is Zhao learning? And really, this is different. Well, that's great. Wait, this is I new. I count that as quite an achievement. Excuse me. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground, and it took every single is one this? of us for any oh. of us to make it out alive. Oh. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Is this Zhao character development, dude? Oh my God, what arc are we in? Hey, so Bull Checker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay asleep forever, is he? I really doubt it, Pai, but I really doubt it. Let's go check on him. Okay. Oh, I really hope Ito wakes up here, dude. He's mm -hmm. a... mm -hmm. uh, yes, my boy. Oh, I slept like a rock. Ugh, good times. Oh, fuck. Huh? Whoa, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Are you in any pain? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? Hold up, Paimon speaks cow? You need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You weren't that bright to begin with, so if we add brain damage to the equation... Oh, brother. Oh, God. What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine! I had an <laughs> epic power nap, and now I feel like a million mora. Well... Huh. I feel like I'm forgetting <laughs> something, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, yeah. were we underground? Yeah, we, How did we get back up here. It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Uh huh. Yeah. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. 
We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. Oh my god. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. Bah, crazy talk. You helped us first. Of course we're gonna return the favor. Hey, if it weren't for you, we'd still be in a Liyue -E jail cell right now. <laughs> I mean, that's also true. That is also true. That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, <laughs> not me. Okay, dude. Listen, mm. Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Well, okay then. How about this? <laughs> to celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Liyue -E Harbor for some sightseeing and a proper meal? Oh, wow. I like the sound of that. Say Now that you mention it, whew, I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight oh, over? Oh, I like Kuki a lot. I think she's a great character. Paimon too. Paimon wants to come too. Paimon, we have other things to do. Oh, come on, Ether. Just this once. Just, come on. Uh, fine. We can all go. We can all, all right, go. Well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was a lot. <laughs> Yeah, this has been tough on everyone. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> oh, wait. Yaelon left already. I was going to treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yes. You want tea, too? We'll take you for some tea, Ushi. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Wow. Okay. I'll let him know. Please tell me he actually wants tea. That was like a full-on conversation with a cow. What was that? Tell them. Tell, Traveler, tell... flying lavender melon. <laughs> she has a couple words he'd like you to pass on for him. Go on. What? Oh, I want to hear this. Me too. Count me in. Ito translates what Ushi said for everyone. Good idea. Let's do that. Tell me. Paimon never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never judge a bull by its cover, huh? Really? Oh. Ushi! I uh, thought we had a bond! Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. I thought we had something. I crowned you! You are the one and only thing that I have crowned right now! And you're gonna tell everybody but me? You betcha! Just leave it to us! Okay, dude. <laughs> Alright, Ito. Shinobu? Ushi, let's go. Okay, dude. Oh, yeah. Grub time. Yep, let's go get some food. <laughs> Shut up. See you next time. I'm pissed with you, Ushi. What the fuck, dude? <gasps> God damn it. Enjoy your milk. Zhao. Finished <laughs> taking care of business? Yes. <laughs> oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. And Ushi, apparently. <clears throat> You're still here. Wait, you're still here? I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Well, she thought you'd left. Aren't you going with them? W aren't you? We still have some stuff we wanted to say to Xiao. <laughs> What's happening mm, right now? I figured as much. I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. I'm gonna go find where Zhongli was stood to see if there's anything there, like, you know, just a lingering smell or something. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. For their own sakes. Uh, we got it. We got it. We'll make sure they don't say anything. Please don't hurt them. Yep. I mean, she definitely could. Oh. Holy shit, Yelan. Listen, I... <laughs> I might not be pulling for you, but I do agree with the majority of the internet when they say your design is out of this world, okay? You got a mean streak, Yelland. You figured me out, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I'll quit pulling your leg. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Where could that strange space have come from? And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? Very good point. I have to investigate this further. <sighs> I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Even you? Also, I think someone helped us out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, but somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. She knows. 
not fully, but she knows. Oh, Zhao, you sneaky little devil. Anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow-up work to do and reports to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. See you. Bye, see you when you see us. All right. Do you know I was waiting for you? Yes, it was obvious. It wasn't obvious at all, Traveler. Really? Maybe to you? Yeah. <laughs> There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Oh? Wait, what? The house, maybe? <gasps> oh, maybe it's going to be Thingy's house. Wait, is it going to be Pervasis' house, maybe? Uh-oh. Here we go. I think it is. <gasps> it is? I think this is Pervasis' house. Oh, my God. The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervasis. Oh, dude. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. Ah. <sighs> You mean, back when we were underground? What did you realize? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is... Damn. We are slaughterers and nothing more. <sighs> For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. It probably was for the rest of them, though. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. I think you know that that isn't true. Hmm. So maybe... These thoughts are my own form of insanity. Oh my god. Hey, don't say that! Xiao, we've got something to tell you. Oh, thanks. It's very important. Go ahead. Please actually tell me this time as well. That would be very nice of you, Paimon. Mm -hmm. Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. Holy shit. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So, he hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a Yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Oh, there will always be someone willing to be by your side. Yep, like people with visions. Uh... They have more resistance against your power, right? And, and... Well, anyway, there's lots of people out there who really care about you. That means Ushi is the Geo Yaksha. <laughs> Kidding. Huh. Suddenly, you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think I was the only one who didn't think that way. Damn. Okay. Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. Yep. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I kind of wish we got I a... am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. Oh, fuck. The others are Bonanus, or General Chizapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. Wow. <laughs> Bosatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. I prefer little dude, yeah. I, I do, I prefer little dude, but, uh, you know, a lot of Zhao, it's fine. Elon she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments. It took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Jesus well, Christ. Hyman still thinks you were amazing. Yenfei and Yelon are correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. It's good though, because then you could always so, be impressed. It was the most optimistic solution I could think of. And not let down as much. Preparing for the worst, hoping if for the Rex best. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. Damn, he told him. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> so that was Zhongli's power back there. In the end, 
<laughs> I still had to burden another. But that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhang Li, uh, Rex Lapis, for such a long time. And you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Agreed. Supporting each other is how people survive. Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. Wow. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. I think I felt it too. It's good that one more person will remember him. Yeah. Two more people. I'm sure Paimon will as well. Uh, oh. Wait, there's more. Minogius. Mm, where have you been? Holy fuck. Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Oh, shit. Boyang. Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? Wow. It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. Oh. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously. Of course, I want to go home. I must have. Family too. God, what a sick design too. Brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes. But who am I? And where is my family? I'm Brother! Oh. Uh. What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't don't die before me. Alatus. Ah, oh. you. Who's Alatus? Your memory's gone again. <laughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother, brother. Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? That Zhao on the they're, right. They're my, my. Oh, fuck. I remember now. I know you. <laughs> Holy shit, the height. What? <laughs> Brothers and sisters have come for me. Boy, you're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Hey, Bosatius. <laughs> wow. I, I am Bosatius, and my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. I said so much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? <gasps> the potential of life? Oh. The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. 
We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, Xiao. Are you sure it's okay for you to tell me all this? It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanus, Minogius, and Indarius all perished. And only Bosatius's fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. Wait, That so is why I went to the chasm, all of despite being fully aware of the danger. All of those are dead, and that means they're so they're not going to be playable. Dude, their character designs are so sick. Uh, that hydro reaction, I'm just saying, Joe, I'm just saying. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Ah, oh, fuck. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us. And Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanus said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius. Oh, Boyan, God. And all those soldiers. No, Zhao. They are all heroes. Heroes? Yeah. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. That was Hero and Ushi, by the way. I accept your advice. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Zhao. <sighs> <sighs> You observe Zhao. The world is silent, no one speaks. Zhao says nothing more. Complex emotions run across his face as he looks at the temple to Pervases. Sadness, disappointment, relief, they are all there, yet are only a small part of a far larger whole. His expression is akin to that of a person who has been out in the blizzard for too long and seen far too much of it before finally gaining a place of respite from the battering snow. Great rewards, by the way. 60 Primo Gems, 4 Heroes Wits, and a lifetime of depression. Wow! We have to talk about this quest. Holy shit. Look for Zhongli and Liyue? Wait, really? Okay, I gotta, I gotta say, dude. That quest might have been... In fact, there's no might have been about it. There's no might have been about it. That quest was 100% the best quest in Genshin Impact. At least in my opinion, it was very long. There wasn't much fluff, like uh, minor details that could have been left out. Like it was all very important stuff. Uh, it was very emotional. Ah! It was very emotional. It got the emotions going in multiple different places and different parts. The time gating, I'm not even that peeved about because the quest itself was absolutely incredible. The domain designs were absolutely incredible. The new puzzles were sick. The one thing that I want, chat, the one thing that I want that I think could add even more emotion and let me know if you agree with this or don't because I think uh, it's something that a lot of people agree with and a lot of people don't and it's fine. This is just my opinion, okay? This is just my opinion. Purely my opinion. Ether had one voice line yet again. The Traveler had one voice line yet again, if you play as, as Lumine. And I feel like a lot of the lines that th that we were quote-unquote reading out for the Traveler in this were extremely fucking emotional. Extremely fucking emotional. And I feel like they would thrive even harder having the VA read them. Am I wrong about that? I'm still confused as to why they don't want to do that. I still love them without it, but... Would I love it more with the extra voice lines? Fuck yes, dude. There's absolutely no chance. Of course I would. But yeah, that quest was absolutely 10 out of 10. YouTube, if you enjoyed the Archon quest, 
and what I had to say about the Archon Quest, let me know down in the comments below. In my opinion, one of, if not the best quests in the entirety of Genshin. Uh, I absolutely loved it. I, I wouldn't change a single thing about it, honestly. Uh, again, other than the, maybe the Ether voice lines, but 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.